Um, Devashad is basically inspired by an ancient Asian mythological, mythological text called the Mahabharata. Um, so we've basically taken characters from that, embellished upon their lives, um, and that, that's basically our inspiration for Devashad. I mean, we, we took a character who is, um, he's very important in the Mahabharata, but he, he appears at a later date um, than the start, so as, uh, he's about 30 years old when he comes into the comic. Uh, into the, in, sorry, the original text, and what we decided to do was was do the prequel, um, do his story when he was growing up. So right from birth, we had this sort of entire space of time that just was never covered in the existing text. Um, so what happens in our story is he he's born, and then he there, there are aspects of his life that were kind of very briefly touched on, and so we, we take those and then we. We just colour in all of the different areas to do with him training, growing up, becoming the powerful warrior that he is when he comes into the Mahabharata. And then all of the, all of the characters that we wanted to create, we've just put in there to, to build him up, uh, to test him and just, just to sort of grow around him. So we've got a whole bunch of characters like a, like a prince, uh, various demons, various gods that will all sort of lift his character up as well at the same time, but don't appear in the Mahabharata. Um, well, I think the artwork hopefully can appeal to a very wide range of an audience. Um, I don't think it's necessarily Western or Asian. Um, I think it's quite a nice mix of both because our artists are sort of the Western and Asian. So I think we've managed to combine the two pretty well within our artwork. So I'm hoping that the appeal of it is going to be universal for the artwork. Mm. Yeah, like I, I, I grew up reading a lot of uh, manga and I'm watching a lot of anime, and so I'm, I'm very much used to the pacing um, of, of Asian sort of creative things rather than, than the Western style. Um, I mean, but at the same time, I did grow up reading Western comics and Western novels, and so, so my own personal input would, would sort of combine both my like for the Asian pacing, which is much faster in my opinion. And then on top of that, we've got a lot of guys, sort of local artists, who, who have a lot of creative input as well. Um, when it comes to just storyboarding and laying out the pace of each comic book, uh, each comic book page rather, they, um, they really sort of add their own knowledge of, of, of what would appeal in Hong Kong much more. initial reaction has been excellent. Everyone seems to love the artwork inside the graphic novel and everyone seems to uh, find the story quite intriguing. It's Asian mythology done in an international style so uh, we expect sales to, to, to be pretty robust. So as long as we let everyone know about it, we feel uh, sure that sales will be good and we don't need to worry about any downturn. It's down to great product, it's down to great uh, storyline, uh, it's down to uh, uh, marketing as well. Um, but of course, you can have a great product, people don't know about it, it won't sell. You can have great marketing, but when people pick it up, they go, wow, that character looks amazing, or that story is really interesting, they, they won't buy it. So you, you need both, and they go hand in hand, and that's what we've tried to do.